I was gonna save his life and probably put everybody else in danger, so I don't know how smart that was. So Kubo had quite the journey in this mm -hmm. universe, did some pretty interesting things, so I wanted to play a little game of Never Have I Ever to see if you have actually done some of the stuff that Kubo and his friends did. Cool, let's cool. go. Cool, let's do yeah. it. All right. Have you ever eaten a snail? No. No? No, never. Escargot is delicious. <sighs> I don't know how much of it is really the escargot I'm enjoying and how much is the butter, <laughs> butter and the garlic. And garlic. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever kept a lock of someone's hair? No. No, I kept a lock of my dog's hair once. Yes, I yes. have locks of all my kids, yeah. Oh, hair. really? Yeah. Whose hair do you have? All three of our children. The first haircut, right? Yeah. Yeah. I keep it in the jar. <laughs> <laughs> That's so I did it like I did it like a week ago, so it's like... It's, it's sort of still freshly weird, you know what I mean? <laughs> Have you ever been terrified by a relative? Yes. <laughs> yeah? There's been like, you know those old sort of relatives and you don't know what they're talking about? But they. They're, they have like weird looks, you know what I mean? They have like crazy eyes, <laughs> and you know they've seen stuff. <laughs> have you ever carried a good luck charm with you? Yes, my mother made make some handbags and stuff. She made me a little like mini leather book. Oh, it's a cool. handbag? Yeah. Yes. What is oh. it? It's a book, actually. Greatest salesman in the world, paperback. That's a great book. Yeah, that book found me. I don't think I'd be sitting there without that book. Interesting. So I carried it. It got ate up by two different dogs. <laughs> um, it's been spilled on. So I used to get, and I ended up carrying it. Now it's in a, in a double ply Ziploc because it's just shredded. But Have you ever saved someone's life? Never. No, I've never saved anyone's life. You will. Hopefully. All that Game of Thrones experience, I feel like, will come. Oh, to yeah. Today. Eventually it will. <laughs> I don't know if they'd have died, but... I've, I've saved a dog's life. Aww. Yeah. On a How'd freeway. Well, I just stopped my car in the middle of the freeway. <laughs> I was going to save his life and probably put everybody else in danger, so I don't know how smart that was. But he was just kind of standing in the freeway, and I was like, oh, I can't drive by this dog standing in the freeway. So. Have you ever come face to face with a chicken? Yeah, I used to have chickens, and I used to have to catch them all the time. And How like, do you do that? You just run around a garden for like two hours until you can catch one. And then there was one that was particularly like confident, so you could make a lot of eye contact with it, which was weird. I feel yeah. like I should be following you on social media yeah. after all of no, these No, social media is rubbish, though. <laughs> I don't post it a lot on it. I'm a bit rubbish on it. You should. The chickens would be a big hit. I, I, they're all dead now. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. There was a fox and they all died. <laughs> Are you making this up? No, I swear like, to this God. Is, this is like gold right now. This is like normal Ireland stuff. This is like... <laughs> said to Kubo in this movie, he said, your dad will forever live on inside of you, which I thought was really great. So I was curious if there's a character that you've ever played that constantly shows up in your mind and your heart when you're doing life. Now, uh, for me, very literally, and on point with what you said, great tea up, my own father. When he, when he moved on in 92, um, I mean, that, that's the day I remember particularly, that's when I became a man. Because that safety net, that uh, no matter what, you know, I knew that from from whether it was the law or whoever, my dad was was always there. And uh, when he wasn't physically there anymore, that's where the the idea of just keep living came to me. Which was, he's not here, but everything that he's about that incentivates me and that uh, gives me my own sense of self and courage. To keep those things alive. Don't let them get dusty and, and put them in the drawer. Um, Seth Rogen and Michael Sarah stop by our office to eat munchy foods with us in that box on the left and on the right. Watch celebrities singing their go-to karaoke songs.